Today's Daily Dose of Weird News is brought to you by MyPillow. Get two premium pillows for the price of one by using the promo code WEIRD when you visit MyPillow.com. I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. Canada is legalizing recreational marijuana – at least until Justin Trudeau and his eyebrows leave office. Meanwhile, the University of Vermont is offering a course on the science of marijuana. The only problem is that most people who are interested in taking the class are also the ones with attendance problems. The Sherlock team are reuniting on a new version of the classic horror story Dracula. They'll begin work on a series of BBC specials based on the classic 1897 novel by Bram Stoker, in which the bloodthirsty Count moves from Transylvania to England. It'll come to television in 2019. You know, come to think of it, Benedict Cumberbatch, he'd be great for that, too. The study says 10 percent of all millennials don't tip when they eat out. In their defense, though, why should they tip their parents? Starbucks is going to close over a hundred stores next year. They're going to start by closing the Starbucks stores that are located inside Starbucks stores. Then they'll begin closing the Starbucks stores directly across the street from Starbucks. According to a recent study, more than 8,000 devices are left at seven of the largest airports in the United States, including Chicago O'Hare, Denver International, San Francisco International, Charlotte Douglas, Miami International, Orlando International, and Minneapolis St. Paul. Every year, they're leaving behind thousands of laptops, iPads, phones, and USB keys. So if you can't afford to shop at Best Buy, now you know where to go. In Racine, Wisconsin, 25-year-old Daniel Blair has been arrested after climbing a balcony and telling a 12-year-old girl that he was looking for a party. According to the criminal complaint, the girl's mother saw the suspect pulling himself up over the balcony and yelled for him to leave, which allegedly caused him to fall. The mother told police that she has never seen the suspect before and that she feared for her family's safety. Officers made contact with Blair, who said that he was looking to party in the area and that a lady made him fall off of a balcony. Blair also allegedly told police that he would not be pressing charges against the woman for making him fall. Well, how very nice of him. There was a billboard up in Texas that said, "'Liberals, please continue on I-40 until you have left our great state of Texas.'" Public outcry, though, made them take that down. Which is to be expected, because liberals can dish out the jokes, they just can't take them. Sears is experimenting with a store in New York where they're creating a Kmart section within the Sears store. Brilliant! Hey, now you can have one failing store inside another failing store, so that way they won't be lonely as they fail together. If you're looking to get the most out of your regular workout, head outdoors. New research has found that any exercise will help deal with stress, but working out in natural environments is much better for your mental health than working out in a gym. Right, because I feel so much better when I'm sweating in the humidity while getting a sunburn and swatting away mosquitoes. The post office began selling the first scratch-and-sniff postage stamps this week. Hey, that one smells like a sweat-soaked postal carrier. In Defudiac Springs, Florida, 39-year-old Michelle Brock called 911 and claimed that her two children had been kidnapped from her car and she believed they were in a semi-truck that had just departed from the area. While the call triggered a response from multiple law enforcement units, including FHP, Cottondale Police, the Bay County Sheriff's Office, and Houston County Sheriff's Office, as a BOLO, a Be on the Lookout, was issued for the semi-truck. However, during the course of the investigation, deputies noted that Brock displayed several signs of being under the influence of an illegal substance, and she was not able to provide consistent information about her travel itinerary or even what her children were wearing. The children were later found safe at their father's home, where they had been the entire time. When deputies tried to relay that information to Miss Brock, she stated that those children were imposters. During the investigation, several items of paraphernalia were allegedly found in Brock's purse along with five grams of high-grade methamphetamine. As she was being transported to the jail, Brock reportedly claimed to see her children under vehicles. This is your brain on drugs. Any questions? 
the world's oldest orangutan living at the Perth Zoo in Australia has died at the age of 62. It's not known if Clint Eastwood will be giving a eulogy. A recent study shows that sitting too much may increase the risk of disability in older Americans. Now, that's awkward. I mean, it's bad news that you can't break to somebody by saying, you better sit down for this. Two Akron, Ohio firefighters are being charged with making porn movies in their fire station. Feel free to make your own hose joke. British pop star Zayn Malik says that he's been startled by the welcoming spirit of the United States and might even consider running for office in his new home. Because of course he will. I guess we just need to accept the fact that the option of voting for people qualified to be in office is never going to happen ever again. American Idol's Scott McCready has married his high school sweetheart. Her name? It's, um, uh, Mrs. McCready. Howard Gordy Clowell would often reminisce about his experiences serving in Vietnam with the U.S. Special Forces. He wore a Special Forces pin, a Ranger tab, Combat Infantryman badge, and a Special Forces unit patch along with Master Parachutist wings. Too bad it was all a lie. Clowell has resigned from his position as historian of the Wisconsin American Legion after his ruse was discovered. He was married to Laurel Clowell, the state commander of the Legion, who said that she's devastated. She added, he has dishonored so many veterans. To me, that's just despicable. She's also filed a formal complaint to the FBI on her husband, which is investigating her estranged husband for falsely claiming military honors. A 2015 law passed in Wisconsin called the Stolen Valor Act makes it a misdemeanor to claim military service or honors for personal gain. The Federal Stolen Valor Act, which passed in 2013, makes it a federal crime to fraudulently claim receiving a valor award. Laurel Cluell said her husband moved out of their home. She plans to initiate divorce proceedings. Yeah, that's Chris Pratt, who appears to be dating Arnold's daughter, Katherine Schwarzenegger. I had no idea there even was a person named Katherine Schwarzenegger, did you? Can you imagine the talks that Arnold probably had with her dates about treating her right and getting her home on time? Listen to me if you want to live. I, I, I can't do a, an Arnold Schwarzenegger impression. Sorry. Oprah is now one of the 500 richest people in the world. So we were wrong. Apparently, you can make a ton of money owning a cable channel nobody watches. Amazon's Jeff Bezos is worth almost $142 trillion. That's $50 billion more than Bill Gates, which makes you wonder how Bill Gates can live on such a paltry income. Spending hours playing violent video games stunts teenagers' emotional growth, according to a new study. It's thought that regular exposure to violence and lack of contact with the outside world makes it harder for them to tell right from wrong. They also struggle to trust other people and see the world from their perspective. Researchers from Brock University in Ontario found that those who spend more than three hours each day in front of the screen are particularly unlikely to have developed the ability to empathize. So if you get attacked by a horde of zombies and your entire family's bitten and transform into undead and they're all chasing after you to eat your brains, don't complain to a teenager. They're not going to care. A poll done for the Daily Beast found that Kim Jong-un was actually more popular than Nancy Pelosi. It sounds insane, but Kim didn't say, we have to sign this peace agreement in order to find out what's in it. In Mokina, Illinois, 40-year-old Zachary Monahan was working as the store greeter at a Meyer on Lincoln Highway. Suddenly, a 35-year-old man leaving the store was allegedly attacked by Monahan, who punched the customer in the head a few times. Monahan was arrested and charged with battery after the incident. Worst store greeter ever. This episode of the Daily Dose of Weird News is brought to you by My Pillow. They asked me to try out a My Pillow to see what I thought of it. I loved it, so I'm telling you about it. No more folding the pillow in half, no more flat, lifeless pillows, no more using two pillows to get comfortable. My Pillow changed the way I sleep for the better. It stays cool all night long. You're not waking up at 3 a.m. to flip to the cool side of the pillow. It keeps its shape. You're not reshaping your pillow in the middle of the night. My pillow comes with a 60-day money-back guarantee, so if you try it and you don't like it, you can return it. But you will like it. You're going to want to keep it, and when you do, it comes with a 10-year warranty. 
Get a pillow that comes with a 10-year warranty? I don't think so. Also, you can toss a My Pillow into your washer and dryer and it's like new again. Try doing that with your current pillow and see what happens. But right now, you can get two premium My Pillows for one low price. Just go to mypillow.com and enter the promo code WEIRD. That's mypillow.com. Then use the promo code WEIRD. Or call 1 800 945 7192. That's 800 945 7192. Or mypillow.com. And be sure to use the promo code WEIRD. For Daily Dose of Weird News, I'm Darren Marlar. And I'll see you next time, Weirdos.